Good morning everyone, welcome to The Craft Show on this horribly soggy, dull and dreary wet morning here in Preston. I've just been looking at some of your comments and apparently it looks like it's just uh, pouring everywhere. So it's a great day for crafting and a great day for sitting in with a nice brew and joining us on Facebook today or Hunky Dory TV as it's now known. Um, I'm not my own. I'm with lovely Natalie, who you will have seen at the weekend. Hello. There she is, freshly back from Peterborough from launching our fabulous Moonstone dies on Saturday. They are fabulous as um, well. I believe it went very well, didn't it, Natalie? It went really, really well. So um, we sold out of the main stock and then Pauline um, was there on Sunday with the extended stock. I don't even think it lasted 20 minutes, that stock. I think after 20 minutes, um, we were out of stock completely. And um, so I think people were very, very, very excited by these, as, as am I. I, think, I know that you I think I'm these. slightly obsessed. I, I think you are. Uh, I think, I think slightly you're obsessed. slightly obsessed with these. And um, you will be, if you've not seen them, we've got a real treat for you. Um, but we need to just remind you, first of all, about our Super Saver deals, which end on Sunday. Um, now, you will remember last week we had some fabulous, fabulous um, deals on there, crazy like Colour Families, $4.99. Um, I'm not even sure what's left actually, but there were some fabulous deals. So have a look on the uh, website uh, and see if there's anything that you missed or anything that you might want extras of. Um, because obviously once um, once those deals are gone and they're out of stock, then there will be no more. So don't miss out. Um, coming up then on today's show, this is what we have. So we have our Win It Weekly competition, which obviously loads and loads of you love, and you've got a whole week um, of you know entering the competition. So we, we do a new one every week. So we've got that coming up. We've also got our Pick of the Week launch this morning, which you are going to see shortly. We have some fabulous Moonstone Dyes cutter card demos with Natalie. Um, Natalie is going to be our demonstrator today yeah, and I am huh? just going to have a little rest <laughs> from uh, moving my twitchy fingers on the um, demo mat over there. Um, then of course we will have the latest Hunky Dory headlines um, with our roving reporter. We will also have some show and tell cards and then we'll be having more fabulous demos. So it's going to be um, fun. Um, we love it when you all join us. I can see lots of people here are with us this morning all saying good morning and it looks like it's pouring down everywhere. So today is a good day to join us on Hunky Dory TV. So um, let's give you our Win It Weekly competition question. Okay, so the question is up on your screen now. So, um, some of you will know this, some of you won't, and some of you might even be a bit oh, confused so about this funny. because um, <laughs> this is a really wacky question, but we're going to ask it anyway. Um, what is Super Saver Man's main choice of footwear? Is it A, high heels, B, socks and sandals, or C, trainers? Um, now, if you watched the show last week uh, with Super Saver Man, you will have... Um, You'll probably know this because you will have seen him leaving the room um, <laughs> wearing these shoes. You didn't see his shoes, um, but you might be able to tell by the way he walked out what he was actually wearing on his feet. So um, that's the question. He's a oh. crazy guy, this super saver man, isn't he? Uh, just a bit. Now, looking at the answers there, I'm guessing he will be comfortable wearing any of these things I think at so. any time. I you know, think I don't so. think you have to. I mean, for us, we would be. If we went shopping, we might just put, um, you know, our trainers on. Yeah. I mean, we would never wear socks and sandals, would we? Because that's that's not the thing. Um, but we would wear high heels if we were going out. But I think Super Saver Man probably just puts these shoes on at any time. And, you know, regardless of the occasion or where he is. I think he probably he could be wearing them now. He might, he might be actually, but as he's not here, we can't check. So that's the competition question <laughs> anyway. So um, now you are in with a chance of winning... Oh my goodness, this is beautiful, Kate. Our Acorn Ward Luxury Card Collection. Now, Natalie, you launched this a, uh, a few weeks ago, didn't you, on Crate and Craft? It genuinely feels like last year that I launched this. Yeah, but because it of how does. busy we've been. <laughs> but yeah, I did launch this one. It's absolutely adorable. The artwork in here is just 
so magical. It has that really nice sort of sketchy feel that I think everyone's going to love, like from the older generation to the younger generation. Yeah. Um, but four winners on this. How fantastic is that? I know. Four, four people winners. can win Yeah. This. Last week, if you tuned in, you will know that four people won our, was it our pencils last week? No. What, was that the week before? That was the week before. What, last, last week? It? Last week was the... the um, Pads, shimmer, in shimmer inks. Pads. Sorry. Well, do you know what? We have so many um, <laughs> things on our schedule, on our plans, on uh, on TV here, on TV creating craft. Um, we're, we're just, you know, <laughs> we're, we're producted out if that's such a word. But yes, we couldn't remember. So four lucky winners won. Um, I think it was uh, was it nine or twelve of our ink pads. Yeah. I was actually in this room when we when we said the winners. Yeah, it was nine of our fabulous. Yeah, yeah, shimmer ink pads. So uh, well done to you for people who won that. So with um, this week, this is our prize, fabulous acorn wood collection. We've got, um, it's going to make at least 16 cards. And um, you've got some concept cards in there as well, the lovely little rocker cards. So there's going to be four winners. All we need you to do is answer the question and like, share and comment. And then we will announce the winner on Friday's show. Um, so, you know, it costs nothing to have a go. If you sat at your computer now or or on your phone, you can just, you know, like, share and comment and put yourself in with the chance of winning a Cornwood. So, so now we are going to go to our pick of the week for this week. Um, now this is beautiful and it's our Moonstone Cutter Card Multi-Buy. Um, so this is what we're going to show you. Okay, so um, some of you who watched Crate and Craft on Saturday with lovely Natalie will have seen that this was what she was launching um, and our fabulous Christmas cut-up card multi-buy. Um, you're going to get the three sets of dies here. So you're going to save £7 because it's £37.97 for these dies. Now, these are very, very unique uh, dies. They are beautiful. They are our fabulous award-winning Moonstone dies, all designed by Stacey Design. These, didn't she? she yes, did. she did. Um, and they are beautiful. So I'm going to um, show you the first one, which is the Star of Wonder. Um, now this one is beautiful because you know you can do so much with these even though they are just one solid die you can chop into these you can do all kinds of uh, fabulous uh, pro projects and techniques with these I'm going to show you the um, first of all the board that actually shows you the just the one basic way of using these so this is the die here when it's just cut and separated but the idea behind it is because it's called cutter card, it means you just put the die on the front of your actual card blank. So we only have three sides that cut. The fourth side is the one that you put against the fold. And so when you cut it, you can see there, you get this beautiful design on the front of your card. You can see how lovely it is. You can see that there's lots of areas where you can cut from. Um, you, you love these, don't you, Natalie? I absolutely love these. They are so versatile i really like how they're how intricate they are and i was saying on my show with andy they really remind me of the sgv files you see a lot on social media around christmas time that people have cut out on their silhouettes their cameos their um, scan and cuts and i know because i started off with with having these machines it's what i did before before i joined hunky dory yes and um, was quite a lot of stuff on these machines and i know how long it can take to cut out images that are this intricate. With these dies, it goes through your die cut machine, both sizes, your large Gemini's, your smaller Gemini's, your Sizzix, um, it fits through them all and it cuts out in 30 seconds. So in 30 seconds, you go from having this die to having what Sheila showed you, which is the cut out and it's absolutely, it's just fantastic. I love it. Um, I love it so much that Shall we do a demo? Yes. Ashley? Yeah. Let's I am. Um, do demo Let's with do a demo this with particular this one. one, and then you can show uh, just exactly what you can do with it. Definitely. So I'm going to take my die off my sheet, and I already have my tape on this. Um, I'm taking some glitter card, and I'm going to just fit it over my die. Now, the easiest way to do this, if you're just doing this with a card blank, is to turn it the other way around 
because then you can line it up with those lines um, and then you can just stick that down. I've already got some there, so just make sure that's in. And then I'm going to use some cut tidy um, and we're going to put this through our machine. And now this cut tidy was brand new <laughs> on Saturday. <laughs> <Was it? laughs> um, so I did my two shows and I did my prep um, for my second show in between. So I did a lot, a lot of cutting. So yeah, it's, um, it's done quite well. It's still going strong. Oh yeah, it, you can really, really thrash it, you know, I think to the point where, um, you know, it eventually just looks like, a, a, well, just a real big mess. It looks like <laughs> this. So then we can pop this out. Uh, just let me get this to. I love the way as well that you forward. can use it as a separate aperture or you can actually um, use it, you know, so you can mat and layer it and put it onto something as big as an 8x8 card. Definitely. Um, I mean, these would be really nice as well, wouldn't they? Like put onto um, like a plaque, all three yes. of them, and then uh, something you could bring out every every Christmas. And they're great for home decor as well, not just for card making. Um, you can make some fantastic projects, um, put them in frames, yeah. um, maybe make like shaker frames with like little bits behind it. That yeah. would be really cool. So I've cut this out of um, some gold um, glitter card. As you can see, it is it has cut. It's cut fantastically. Um, but because it is a glitter card and you have that sort of extra layer with the glitter on there, you are going to have to use your pokey tool, your um, your hands just to guide the cardstock out. But you can definitely, it's it's not a problem at all. And then I've cut the same thing, and I've cut it out of black. Now I've cut this out of black twice. The first one we've cut um, the bottom away from. The second one, I'm going to cut the top away from it. Now, it's so easy to do this. It's so easy to find where you need to snip them off. Um, with this one, we've just gone around the tree here where it's connected, connect the, taken off where the words are connected to the top, and then I'm going to take my tree off. Um, and you can just snip them off where they need to be or you can use your um, scissors and sort of extend those pieces. So I'm just going to go, go to here where my tree is and then we're going to cut off those extra bits there. These were so popular at the weekend and I think people have been trying to get them on our pick of the week already. Um, I heard Sam and Dan talking about that earlier. So if you want them, you're going to have to get them now, aren't you, Sheila? Yes, I would say get them because um, these are something that once they're out of stock, they can be out of stock for, for quite for a while. For a while. Aren't they? Um, so and we're not just saying that. We we are being honest. Um, yeah, we don't, we don't, I don't want you to miss out. No, they're beautiful. And as we always say, it's a tool. So it's like, um, you know, buying yourself a... Um, a machine or a, or a drill or a set of spanners or some cooking utensils, you know, things like that. As long as you look after them, you've got them then for as long as you need to use them. Um, you know, if if you go with things like, if you think of things, um, like, like I have stuff at home in my cupboard that has been passed down through the generations, just mm -hmm. simple things like an aluminium, an aluminium plate, you know, an old serving spoon, and they've, they've gone all funny colours and I still use them, and they just, it's a tool, and if you look after it, it gets, you know, it can get passed down, and I mean, these these are dies, these are much much more exciting than a spoon or a plate, aren't they? Definitely. So, you know what I mean? So, uh, and you can create, uh, with these, like Natalie's doing here, chopping bits out and putting them onto something else, you almost make it into... Um, two dies really or even more yeah you can um, definitely loads of things you can do you with them. have the ability to do um, really whatever you want with these dies and they're so um, easy to use as you can see now I'm using my scissors to cut around the words um, so I want just the star of wonder in this glitter and um, so I'm just cutting off where um, the words are attached to all the pieces that I don't want which is so easy to do um, it really, really is. It's not hard to sort of see where they join together. Um, you can just pop them around like so. Um, Sheila? Yes? While I get on with creating a background, would yes. you mind carrying on cutting this out? Not at all, no. I feel like it's going to take no, a No, I will chop. You want the whole thing? 
Yeah, Let's just the words. That. Okay. We'll cut cool. that out and then we'll start putting our card together because um, it could take a little while to get that cut out. It's so fine. I've got a five by seven piece of Ink Me. I'm going to use my scoreboard and we're going to lay this up like this. Also, this is a tent fold, just to let you know. It's not your regular five by seven. It is a tent, so the score is at the top. But we're gonna lay this on, and we're gonna score this at one, at two, and then I'm gonna take my trimmer, and we're gonna cut the opposite side um, so that your top fold is at five inches. And this is going to make a little front stepper so we can score across here like so. And then I'm going to take a piece of 5x5 ink me and we're going to make a really pretty background score on here. Now I want a, a really nice sun set I think so I've gone with um, four colours. I've got yellow, orange zest, red brick and midnight black just to add a little bit extra to there so I know that my Jesus in his little manger is quite central so I'm gonna sort of create a like a nice little light area first around the center and I think it's quite nice because with dyes you can be as creative as you want you can you can cut this out of adorable scoreable if you want to and just leave it as that the card like we showed you earlier but you can get really into um, your dies you can cut them up you can create backgrounds you can color them in using any of sort of the prism um, products that we have you the possibilities are endless with what you can do with dies yeah i think um they're really, they're really nice as well because like you're saying, Nassif, you can cut with some of them, with a couple of them, you can cut cut them in half almost and then you could, you know, use different the different greetings. You could swap the greetings around, couldn't you, the sentiments with yeah. the actual, um, you know, with the, the actual bits that you're cutting off at the bottom. So you, in effect, you're making almost like a new, a new die. Yeah, definitely. You're making a whole different sort of scene for your image to live in as well. Yeah. Um, there's so much you can do with these. Um, if you did miss out on the shows on um, Saturday and Sunday, you should definitely go back and watch them because I know that um, there was so much sort of variety in the different ways that you can use the dyes. Um, yeah. I tried to make, I tried to do all my demos differently. So I gave a lot of different, um, options for what you can do with them which I think is really nice um, because then you see in um, sort of loads of different ways in which you can use use these dies so we're just gonna fill in this red gap at the top here it's a pity isn't it we only have like such a short time to show um, what you can do with them you know we're very limited on time here and we, and we have as crafters like yourselves at home we have lots of different um, thoughts and lots of um, ideas on how we can use them um, but we've got such a limited time that we can't always give you all the ideas that we have um, so it's, it's a really good idea if you can to go back on those shows that Natalie did at the weekend and um, and have a look. Unfortunately, I was um, out on Saturday in the day and I actually got a text from my mum to say, oh, Natalie's just done a beautiful card. Um, <laughs> and I was like, sorry, mum, I'm not home. I was out shopping. Um, I'm not home, so I'll, so I'll have to catch up on it. Um, but yeah, I, I believe you got some really good comments, Natalie, on your demos. I did. I had a, a lovely comment from good. a from a lady called, called, I think she's called Christine. She might yeah. be watching Christine. Um, she commented, um, on Facebook to say um, how much she enjoyed the demos. There was lots of people on Instagram as well, people from across the pond, which is always nice. Definitely. Um, to know that, you know, how far away they are and pe those people are watching. Yeah, so they tune in, yeah. we've created this background, which kind of looks like fire, actually. It's lovely. Now I've put it together. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to stick um, our first panel, which just has the words on, on top. Uh, to do this, I'm going to use 
going to use some of our um, glue. This is our white craft glue. So we do this in pen form or you can get it in a big tub like this one. Let's see if we can get it out on here. There we go. Um, and I'm just putting this onto an acrylic block because you could go directly onto the die, but then you're going to use so much more glue than you actually need. And it's going to be coming all over, out, all on top of your die. And you don't want it to have loads of sticky, um, gluey bits. So this is a good way of just being able to pick up sort of the right amount of glue that you need. So we'll stick this onto our background. Ooh making sure it's that really nice. you're putting those edges together. So this is a nice little sunset we have going on there. Um, and then I'm going to stick this now onto my card blank that I made before, my front stepper. So this is going to go on the back. I'm almost done with the cutting, Natalie. Oh, it's okay. Doing my We'll be able to add those that glittery sentiment um, over the top, and it's just going to add that little bit of extra, extra sparkle to the card, really. So we'll stick this um, on top of our card blank. I've just used some um, double-sided tape to do that, and then on my stepper, the second piece that I cut before, we're going to put on top like this, so it's it sits in front of that card, and I did cut. I bet I've got rid of it now. I did have an extra piece of black card, but it's okay. So we can cut a piece. I'm going to cut a piece to um, the size of my front stepper so we can sort of wedge our die in between. So it's one inch by five. And then we can stick this Let's just put some tape on here and we can stick our die cut under it like so. And you, can re you can't really see the join there and that's the beauty of the die because you've got these little wedged bits where it's all cut out and it's all detailed. You don't actually see that you've sort of extended that base. And then we can add really more pretty. tape to this bit. We'll stick that over the top, making sure it's straight. And then, are you finished, Shields? Almost. Shall we see, where are we up to? Can I cut some bits? Yeah, you might have to cut this little bit off, just because it's- Is it the, the bit in the S? No, it's the, um, it's the little bit in the night. Oh, worthy. that's okay. Maybe you could just do the word star. Maybe let's I'll pass it to that. you. I see, I see, I see. You can trim that. So you? let's, I'll get rid of all let's just do the stars because. I think it'd be nice with just um, star because they're the big um, words, the aren't words, they? aren't they? Yeah. So I let's really like just trim. That looks so amazing. That it's off. actually like, <laughs> it's like the sun's just gone down. It really is. Yeah, it's it's beautiful, yeah. So. Yeah, it's really pretty. And it didn't take long to do. It's just four colours, just blending them out. Um, I love our prism inks as well because you do have so many, there's 36 colours now, isn't there? Yes. So you've got 36 colours here, um, which you can use to create whatever colours you want to. If you watched um, the first show on Saturday, I have it here actually so I can show you. I created um, using this same die um, a frame and I cut um, the die about five or five times I think and each time I cut away different bits yeah and then I stuck them onto um, let's put this one on here everyone's saying how much they are really loving your um, backgrounds Thank um, you. and they're just saying how, how stunning that die actually is cut on its, its own. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. People are going to love this, especially if you um, create cards to make it um, like um, church fairs. 
definitely. This, I mean, this is going to be, be a so winner. Lovely. Um, okay, so I can hold this up now. Put that on our front cam for you. It's so beautiful. So you can see um, how that looks there. There we go. It's really the clever, isn't it? And it's, then like it's quite thing. effective, isn't it? Because yeah. obviously you have this, so it's it does kind of go over that words, but because it's the stepper and you pull in that forward, you see the difference in the dimension. Definitely. Um, I really like that. But while I have this here, that way, I want to show you the frame that I made on, because I did the same sort of background technique, but we did this in blues. Oh so my. you can see here the difference in just the backgrounds. It makes a totally different card because I've used it. black on both of them. Um, I've obviously got the whole word in the glitter card there, um, but in this one, um, if I hold it this way, you can see the different layers of the um, dye that I cut through. Um, but there's so many incredible samples made with this. Um, I'll show you some now. So we have, these are made by the team. I love this idea. Um, cutting it out twice and then using the other bits and sticking them back in. Yeah. Rachel made this one. This is using some of our Mattastic cardstock. I have another one here with a fantastic background again, but we've got it in white this time. It is just absolutely stunning. It's so really pretty. really lovely, isn't it? They, they're all together make a really nice collection. Here again, we've got another background um, with the black, but this time a bit more mystical. It is actually, isn't and it? Glaze. And I like the, um, is it like a well, white gel pen or something that's been um, put yeah, on there to make to the make stars? Little stars. So it's really, very, really lovely. Very lovely. Even though it's the same dye, every single one. The same is, dye. It's very, very different. And then this one again is one I made on Saturday's show. This one's a bit jazzy. So in the front you've got your card, and then when you open it up, fabulous. You have this little pop out, um, which is great to have a little candle in. You yeah, have of that course. On your mantelpiece. But again, like you say, Natalie, these are things that if you're um, raising money for your church, yes. or if you're um, wanting to sell them on your craft fairs and things, you know, we we encourage you to make and sell as many make things and as you sell can. Sell everything. Yes. Yeah. The, so they're all so different and also beautiful and so very unique. Share that, your creations. You know, people can't fail to to love those. Um, so thank you for that, Natalie. Um, you're welcome. Really, really beautiful, and we hope that that's given you a little bit of inspiration. That's just for the one die we've got three of these um so um we are now going to um are we rolling some vt are we <gasps> we are rolling vt let's watch this That's a really nice little uh, VT there. It seems quite a while since we made some of those cards, but uh, anyway, um, we are, if we could show you everything, every idea in our head, we'd probably be here till about 2035 or I something. I agree, I agree. Um, I don't mean time, I mean year, um, <laughs> because we have so many ideas, and the more you play with them, the more inspired you become, and the more creative you become. And I think the more adventurous as well, don't you? And eventually, Definitely. you're like, oh my goodness, think of all these things I could do. I can make a card that unfolds with 12 panels on. Um, so yeah, and this is what we like to do. We like to give you the inspiration and the the confidence almost to, to craft along and um, enjoy what you make. So now we're going to show you the next die. So this is the second die out of the three. This again is beautiful. So this is the Magic of Christmas die. Now this one is totally different. Again, with this one, we've actually got um, the words believe in the magic of Christmas. We've got, this is quite detailed. We've got the, almost like the little rooftops at the bottom, the village and the houses. And then right across the top, we have got Santa um, in his sleigh. This again is a beautiful one for chopping into, this. isn't it? I think this is probably my favourite actually. Now let me show you the board, because again, on the board you are going to see um, how fabulous this is. So it's believing the magic of Christmas, and then again, you can just put it onto your card blank so it can be as simple as you want it to be. Let's get this over here, then you can see, you know what I'm talking about. 
absolutely stunning just on a black background cut in white or vice versa white background cut in black or doing like Natalie's just shown you using inks using glitter card using adorable scorable um the ideas are just endless and again snipping into it 14.99 that's all it is today um so this is like santa father christmas flying over the local town on a starry christmas eve we have a couple of samples here which i'm going to show to you and again these are all very very different um so we've got the one with the um the blue glitter card or a fabulous glitter card that we have again put a bit of yellow adorable scorable behind um, the houses so it looks like the lights are on everyone waiting for Santa you can see Santa flying across the top here with the reindeer and then we've just added um, the sentiment in silver mirror so that pops out a little bit and just by moving it ever so slightly across the black you've got to get that lovely shadow um, so you can see what it says then we've got another one done here this was done by um, Kat again simple just done on black card with the whole image cut from gold put on top absolutely stunning and then we have oh this is amazing that. who did this one natalie do we I know who one. did this no, you did it these are a tv ones obviously um so look at this one again a really clever one with the village at the bottom there but layered up so it's like a whole different town and then we've also got the word believe so natalie's just snipped out um the believe word there built it up a little bit it's just beautiful um so so lovely oh my goodness i love this is this I one of yours to do this. yeah oh my goodness okay so this weighs a ton so natalie <laughs> in her craziness she's obsessed with shaker cards has been since the day she started here um very true but this is beyond shaker because this is actually full of bells right so this is just the noisiest card ever when but i saw the sentiment it just made me think of um, Polar Express, the film. Yes. And do you know when they're obsessed with the sound of the bell? Yeah. I was like, it's believe divine. in the magic of Christmas, you have to have bells in there. Um, so I, I went online um, Worked. and found mm, some really little, well. I think they're six millimetres, which is They're really, for, really cute. Great for shaker cards. They're really um, cute. Um, but look at that. And again, this is something that you can make and charge. You could do different colour bells. You yeah. can charge, a, you know, a fair bit Even of in like a this. frame. Do it in like a big Definitely. frame. Put some massive bells in there. Yeah. Something for Christmas. Have uh, wall hanging, bells hanging off the bottom as well. Some, you know, you can go crazy. Absolutely beautiful. That's, that's just divine, Natalie. And then again, simple one. Um, where we've put the spritz the background, so putting this. it on a bigger card, a bit of snowfall acetate behind it. It looks so good. And just some matastic. And again, you can keep it really simple. Um, and I think you focus on on the actual um, die itself and the image. And again, that's we've cut quite a bit out of that. So those are just a few ideas. Um, that you can use with that die, which is the magic of Christmas. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, Natalie, you're going to demo on this as well, I aren't am. You? Let's, let's get let's into get another demo. In. So we're going to use that die again. Um, with, this time, we're going to do really simple. Um, we're going to get our 5x5, five five, make sure that's in nice and even, and we'll, we'll lay it down. I did have quite a bit of tape on this one, but um, it's stolen it. So let's add some more um, tape here. We'll just stick that to the edge so we know that it's going to stick down it's going to be in place going to put that through our machine oh i've got my plates all muddled up here <laughs> okay what's going on i know there's going to come a time where and everybody must have done this where they use a magnetic sheet and you put the die through the wrong way and you oh, end up with yeah. um, no we're not doing a lovely fridge magnet <laughs> <laughs> You know, some of my magnetic mats at home, I've actually sellotaped them the back pieces together. back in <laughs> because I'm because I'm like, you know what? I need this magnetic shim today. I haven't got time to order another one. I need it now, so I'll tape it up. It's so funny. Um, but yeah, we've we've done that many times here. We've got a lot of mats in the creative room where we've cut cut so, down out and then so many mats <laughs> the wrong side. So, but it is quite funny. Okay, but um, yeah. <laughs> right, so once we've got our die cut out, I'm just going to lift that off the tape, making sure it doesn't rip the card. 
because um, it is low tack tape, but once it's been through that machine, it's like the strongest tape known to man. Uh, absolutely. Like instantly, and instantly. It's, yeah, and especially if you're putting it onto something matte, like adorable scoral matte plastic yeah. or ink me, because it's a drier um, top coat. It's kind of, it like, it does like to stick, like masking tape, it's very low tack, but yeah. if you put it on a drier surface, it, it does like to cling sometimes. But yeah, like you say, Natalie, putting it through the machine, I think, compresses it, doesn't yeah. it? And then you're like, oh my goodness, now it's the high tack tape. No, it's high tack, <laughs> not low tack. Okay, so I'm just um, using my brush to get these bigger pieces out. And then once these are out, um, we can use our pokey tool to get in the, the smaller bits. Um, which is why this brush is so amazing because it has all the little everything that you need. Um, if you're buying the dies, I would definitely recommend getting the brush as well. Yeah. That is if we have any left. And you know what? I've been using the, uh, because you've got the spatula in there as well. Yes, we um, do. I've been using the spatula, you know, because um, like you've just seen this morning, Natalie's put her glue on the um, acrylic block. I very often put it on my mat. You'll have seen me do it on my mat. Once it's dry though, and whether it's... Oh, you um, can't get it off, can you? No, but the spatula does it really well. You just scrape it off with the yeah, spatula? Yeah, just scrape it off. And you can do with whether it's your construction glue or whether it's um, our craft glue, our like white PVA. It will. It does bring it off lovely. I uh, did it on my mat on Friday, so it's well worth having. Okay. Um, and of course, you've got the fabulous brush on the end and the poker tool. It's so, a great tool. We love it, don't we? It is really, really fantastic. So with this one... Um, I just want to colour it in. So I've got my alcohol markers. And I'll just bring these over here. So I've got these laid out and I'm very, very particular. So they are all still in their boxes. I, yeah, <laughs> you, that is quite particular. Um, but we're just going to add um, a little bit of colour on here, not being massively um, sort of particular about where I'm adding the colour um, but we're going to add the little bit of blue to the end of my snowflakes there just to make bring those out a bit more. Um, yes. Let's add some to the top of our houses as well um, because I imagine that these houses are full of snow. Got lots of people um, joining us and uh, Everyone's loving your demos. Well, that's nice. Yeah, they are. Everyone's answering the question as well. It's very interesting what people are answering our Win It Weekly question with. Is, is, the, <laughs> is, the, is the answer quite, um, <laughs> what, what's the word? The same all the way through or are people? Uh, yeah, it's pretty consistent. Is it, a is it consistent? <laughs> okay. Pretty, uh, well, super, <laughs> super saver man doesn't hold back, that's oh, for sure. Oh my goodness. Lots of people also um, who have watched you on the last demo with your ink pads and your sponges and your blending tools are saying what a great idea to stick your blending pads to the bottom of your ink pad, your blending it's sponges. Best, but we all do that, don't we? Yeah. And you can just we just use um, like the Velcro dots or sometimes Velcro tape with that's the one that's got the sticky on the back. So you just need to, uh, it only needs to be a tiny piece. Honestly, the tiniest bit it's, ever. It's amazing and it holds them there. So, you know, a particular for us, I think, when we are traveling to create and craft, we need to have um, it's nice to have the sponges yeah. ready. Easy to go. Definitely. Because if you if you think about how many ink pads we have, we have our 36 colours in our just general dye-based inks. Um, very true. Our dye inks. And then we've got our shimmer inks, so that's another 36. And then we've also got our ombre inks. Yeah. Um, so that's, uh, you know, that's a fair amount. That That's like, for 72, that's about 80 sponges. And if we had to have a blending sponge on each blender, on each we'd have a huge box with like 80 tools in and we'd have to rummage through. So doing that is a really, really good idea. And then obviously once they're worn out or you, you know, Although I have washed mine a few times. When have we, you? Yeah, when we first got them and we were kind of testing them. Uh, we only had like a pack of six at the time. And I was thinking, oh, I need to test all these colours. So I used to just go into the kitchen and run them in the, under the tap and just kind of uh, rinse them out. So, I mean, I'm not I'm not saying that will last, you know, for the duration of the, the life of the sponge. I never um, even thought about doing but that. But yeah, I've done it before where I've like put one in purple and then I've accidentally put it in red and I've been like, oh my goodness. So I have rinsed it out. That's um, a really 
clever yeah. idea to do because I would not even think about that. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's got the, the like Velcro black uh, area on there, so that's not going to withstand like you know washing them all the time. But yeah, if you if you have a mishap or we've not got them in stock and you need one, you can just wash it. Like I say, I did it at the beginning just with some uh, warm water and a little bit of soap. It's a sponge after all. Um, but yeah, so you you can do that. What but, a good tip that is, Sheila. Well, it's just a general sneak, thing, isn't it? Just in case you you know you're struggling or you dip it in the wrong ink and then you're like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I've not got any more sponges. Um, but yeah, we have um, one on the bottom of each of our ink pads and we've all got about 18 pads, haven't we? So it's a very useful um, it's trick a useful and, and tip. tip. Yeah, okay. that looks so lovely. Look how it's um, popping out of that. Well, I've, what I've done is I've just coloured it in one colour. Yeah. Um, and then I've used um, a darker colour of the same version. And I'm just going over like, like the bits where you would have that dimension in your words. Yeah. Um, so we've done that in red. Let's go, let's do the banner. And the, the best thing about this is if you just get a piece of ink me or it could be copier paper, um, if you've got that, and just put this underneath, yeah. you can be so, rushed probably isn't the right word to use, but you don't have to be so careful yeah. um, because the, it, the, the card stock's just gonna, it's just gonna go through go through the other bit it's really nice so then we'll do the believe in the same it's clever how you've done the christmas with the red because um we've shown a couple of ways of doing them today haven't we on the cards that we've already got made yeah where we've like cut it in glitter card and then we've put it against black and, and moved it over slightly so you get that shadow but not everyone has got black card not everyone's got glitter card so again if no. you've got the pens or you've got your brush you know, markers, your markers, your brush markers you can still create that shadowy effect um, and it just looks lovely, even just in that like one red colour. It's really nice. Um, but it's just, you know, if you don't want to use all of your cardstock that you've got and get quite, um, go crazy um, with your makes, this is just another really good way. And if I turn that over, then I can oh, see. so nice. So we can add it again, um, those, that darker red to create that nice, effect of the shadow lovely let's do it like that and then we'll go over the edge of our b as well you can do them quite bespoke couldn't you because yeah, if definitely. you know like you're sending this to your auntie auntie june and june auntie june has just decorated her room in teal and brown you could do it to match that or if you know that someone has just black and white mono, monochrome effects in their house you could do it black and white and that's again another really good um, a way of using dyes and also another advantage of having dyes because you can cut it from anything in any colour um, and really make it, you know, bespoke to some to someone. And then I'm going to go in with a yellow. This is a different yellow. This one's a little bit lighter. But we're just going to go over the magic in this one. I like that. It's really contemporary because it's yellow, probably the least used card uh, colour. Sorry, on Christmas cards, I, I think. probably think so. You know, but that looks really um, almost then, retro in a way with the red and let's the yellow. Let's use a grey, and the grey we're just going to do. Uh, this is quite a light grey actually. So we'll do. Let's get the darker one. We'll go for the CG4, which sounds like a weird film. Actually, it sounds like <laughs> Star Wars or something. Let me see. And we'll go for that, and then. I'll go. I'll just blend that out with that lighter grey. And then we'll go over our Father Christmas in that dark one. So he's sort of like going, like you would see him, like a shadow in the sky. We'll just colour him in grey and we are done. But you can, you can, if you have the time, obviously, we have more time here than we do on um, creating craft, but you don't want to see me colouring because I could be cut I could I could colour this in for a good five hours <laughs> and Sheila will tell you that that is true yes it's very I true I could sit here for hours um and bring out loads of detail in here colour all my reindeers brown and um have the the colour coming out of them but for the purpose of this video I'll keep it short <laughs> 
Well, you're getting lots of comments about your cars. Natalie saying how stunning they are. They're loving um, what you've done. Uh, stunning cards. Um, love this card. So beautiful. What a beautiful card. Looks stunning in blue. Ooh, Gorgeous go. card. So everyone is loving what you're doing um, with these. Look at that. It's so simple, but it's so exciting cute, isn't it so uh, there's something like magical about it it's really really exciting like you said lots of people love sitting coloring they don't yes. have um glitters they don't have lots of cars they just cut things from white and color them so again this is um a great idea for those um people beautiful beautiful card um natalie Thanks. again so um have i shown you yeah we've already shown you the cards um for that one haven't we um with the with the build on um yes. so um i think now we have got to give you some hunky dory headlines so we're going to go across to natalie our fabulous young <coughs> um glamorous newsreader and she's going to tell you all about our news <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Hunky Dory Headlines um, this morning on Monday. Um, my name is Natalie Fancy Pants, however I'm not wearing pants today, I've got a dress on Sheila. Um, on Hunky Dory TV this week we have four shows for you this week. Right now you are watching the craft show with me and Sheila. On Wednesday the 29th of June at 10am we have Trolley Dash with Sheila and Dan where Sheila is going to be taking her turn at the scoreboard challenge. Will she be able to knock Dan off the top? We shall see. However, Dan should be right at the bottom because he cheated. <laughs> On Thursday we have our first ever roundup show um, where we're going to take a look at some awesome goodies that we launched throughout July. It's going to be a bit of a western theme um, for sure. And on Friday at 10am it's time for Thank Craft It's Friday with me and a new guest Kelly. Um, Kelly Singleton will be joining us for Thank Craft It's Friday. She's lovely, you're going to love her. She is one of my favourite people. Um, breaking news However, we have some breaking news. Sources say that Super Saver Man has been seen flying all over the country with only one high heel remaining. Crafters have been trying to toss him a replacement shoe, but concerns are there may be a, a lopsided landing and a hobbly superhero here next month. <gasps> Stock updates we have for you. Snowfall acetate is back in stock in all pack sizes, which is perfect timing because I know you'll all be getting ready to make your festive cards. The Premier Craft Tools trimmer and guillotine are back in stock, but I will tell you now that's not going to last. And also construction glue, it's gone again. It's gone again, guys. So congratulations to everyone who picked up the construction glue when we had it, but it's gone. Um, it's going to be back and it's going to be back in a big way on the 30th of August, so not long to wait. In other news, Amory asked Mark to pass her pass her, her lipstick. She, he accidentally passed her a glue stick. Um, sources say that she's still not speaking to him. <laughs> uh, Creating Craft TV this week. Pauline will be on Creating Craft on Tuesday the 28th of July with our Let It Snow collection at 10.30 and 6.45. Um, Sheila is going to be back on Creating Craft on Friday the 31st with our brand new Moonstone Combos Christmas collection. I'm very excited about that. I know. It's another one I'm going to love for sure. Um, so you can catch her at 9am and 2.15 and then Pauline will be taking over on Saturday. Um, so now it's time for our Thought of the Week. The thought of the week, whoever said money can't buy you happiness, clearly didn't know where to shop. Um, because that's right people, this is where to get the happiness from. Shop here at hunkydory, <laughs> hunkydorycrafts.co.uk for happiness. Right here, click, click the link, get shopping. You'll be, you'll be beaming from ear to ear every day this week. Um, and that concludes our Hunky Dory headlines for this week.
Thank you, Natalie. Um, Do you know what's really funny, Sheila? What? <laughs> um, I've just seen someone here that says Natalie needs um, another goat constructing a box. And I actually agree with you, Linda, I do, because I actually cut my cardstock in the time. Yes, you did. So, and no one else did that. No. Because we need some ground rules here, we, people. We do, it's absolutely crucial. Um, it, and it's difficult if your uh, boss. Um, I mean, we don't I mean, really like to say cheats. <laughs> We did. We're, in, we're, we're, in, in, we're in cahoots here. Um, and I tried to go through my earpiece to the powers above. We should have gone to Anne about this. We should. We should you have gone what? to Anne. I'm Anne speak is, to her after. Yeah, Anne is um, the founder of Hunky Dory and Anne is Dan's mum. So we, we should perhaps uh, speak to Anne later and see what she thinks <laughs> yes, about this. I agree. Um, uh, because we were troubles so I, i'm thinking now well maybe if, i mean if one slightly person, missed off yeah missed if, off yeah if one sure. person can cheat then you know well Sheila, for us all. you better show him show him how to do it i'll show him how to do a box don't you worry <laughs> <laughs> no okay no, we're not get no, on no the double. sour feelings uh, no here, no we, we're not, not bitter all. we're not bitter god me no <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's probably waiting for us outside the door. He'll be he calling will. us into his office at 11.30 going, right, you two, get in here. Um, <laughs> he is here, P45. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's show you our third and final die of this fabulous cutter card collection because this is, again, another beautiful one. So this is Have Yourself Merry Little Christmas. It's beautiful. As you can see, we've got really big words there and it's very simple, this. I love the simplicity of it we've just got some foliage in the background it's really really simple but it's really really nice um if i turn it around you can see it so again it's going to cut exactly the same as our previous two where we get this beautiful um frontage which can be used as like an aperture and again you saw some of our shaker cards, some with no fall acetate behind, um, using the pens. You can do whatever you want to. You could even put, um, cut the frame out lots and lots of extra time, snip away and create like a box effect. So you're actually looking in at the words, put some lights behind, bring it out every year as a decoration. Natalie, am I, I right that. thinking? I love that idea. Well, didn't you do, or did someone make um, like a white Catherine. Cube? Catherine. Catherine. So made she a cut little. Yeah, she cut it, it was four cute. times, didn't she? Yeah. And made it into like a cube. So you could put a battery tea light underneath it or you could put like some battery lights. Um, it was really, really beautiful. And again, something that that you can do for probably pence and sell, you know, to raise money for your charities. Um, fabulous, fabulous ideas. So this is beautiful. Again, you can see on the screen, we've got foliage and berries with the one large sentiment here. And this is now 14.99. Again, it's a tool, it's going to last you, and if you get all three of these, I firmly believe you can cut them out two or three times, snip into each and every one of them, and maybe even mix them up or come up with something different. But again, the beautiful thing about this is you can use them with your inks as stencils as well. You know, you can take your fine liners yes. um, and draw around the words and then colour those in. So you can take it beyond um, its actual main function. Um, so I believe now Natalie is ready to do us another beautiful demo, actually, with this. And then when, when Natalie's done that, we'll show you a few cards that have been made with this die. So we're going to go across to Natalie now while she shows you her next creation. So I'm going to use three different items of cardstock here. I have... Um, a piece of willow tree, which is from our Mattastic collection. I have a lovely piece of magnolia, and then I have some gold glitter. Now, I've used this a few times. It's my favourite. It's amazing. It's my favourite. Yeah. So, we've cut this down to, um, this is seven, seven and three quarters, and then I'm going to cut my gold glitter. Could have found my trimmer then. I'm going to cut the gold glitter card down to 7x5 um, and that's just going to create a lovely little frame. Um, it's going to make our pieces pop. Let's do that by 5 so we're not wasting as much. Um, and then by 7. So I have my 
magnolia here which I'm going to stick on top of that glitter card and so let's just use some low tack tape to do that lots of people loving the ideas um, that we've given them today Natalie one lady says that we've given them so many ideas her head cannot remember them all that's a lovely Linda um, got lots of people again it's inspiring people to use their um, products as well that they've got so it's you know people saying I'd love to add some glitter onto the top of oh, the houses yes. um, the shaker cards are loving your um, shaker cards with the bells in um, which again is is beautiful they're loving your coloring Natalie um, and they're saying some you know one of the cards very simple but very effective um, Simple but effective of, is always the best one. Yeah, lots of um, lovely comments. So then we're going to put this onto our 5x7 um, card blank. Just make sure that that lines up nicely before we stick that on there. And I haven't lined it up nicely at all. But it's okay, because what we can do is we can take our scissors, we can just trim around the edge and no one will ever know. And that's the beauty of crafting. <laughs> We've got a bit of a uh, controversy going on here about us being a bit like harsh with Dan. Everyone's. Uh, we've got some. Uh, we've got some real people on Dan's side here saying. I'm sure they will be. Dan. Dan didn't cheat. It says there was nothing in the rules to say that he couldn't use a tape pen. Well, I feel like this is where this is where <laughs> the problem is, right? Because what we needed was we needed some ground rules before we started. Because now, now we've started a war, a craft war. We have, <laughs> and people are now saying that you need another go, Natalie. I do, um, I agree. And, um, it wasn't fair. <laughs> it's, uh, I yeah, think, you know funny. what? I think we might need to ring Anne Marie up. Oh, ring well, up. Yeah, even though she's on maternity leave, we might just be able to get a last, we need uh, a last question an in. An independent adjudicator here. Before, yeah, before, before uh, the baby comes. Baby comes. Um, um, <laughs> and now there's people are saying, um, oh, Anna's actually commented and said this is typical of Daniel. <laughs> oh, we're, oh my goodness, this is so exciting. <laughs> we love it. This is all live. You know, we had no, no idea that this was going to happen. So, um, yeah, w they agree with us. Claire says she agrees with us. Go to the top dog. <laughs> what does what does Anne say? Anne says it's typical of Daniel. Um, she's not actually said anything else yet, but we'll, we'll speak to her about this. We will, we will indeed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, poor Dan, somebody says. Viv says, poor Dan, he did his best. <laughs> I'm sure he did do his best. Listen, it's all, it's all a bit fun. We, um, no. we like to make it as fun as possible. And yeah. we're, we're all very competitive here as well, which is cool. Well, I think, I think that this is the problem. Oh, this look. is the problem here, is that we are too competitive. <laughs> Um, and Dickinson says, we are all for Dan, he's not a cheat. And then Linda says, he found a loophole and used it as not cheating. <laughs> yeah, I, Loving it. this is what he said. He said, I've not cheated, I've been resourceful. Resourceful, because someone Which commented that how resourceful. Okay. We, were, we were thinking, okay, cut if, it was a, again. if it had been a hunky-dory product, was it a hunky-dory product? No, it wasn't. No. Well, we do sell it at Inspirations, don't we? We do. So we, you know, obviously we sell lots of fabulous brands at Inspirations. So, um, yeah, I think, um, I th I'm sure he's going to be waiting for us after this. <laughs> I'm going to run it through again because I want to have more of these leaves. Um, so from this, I'm just going to cut... <laughs> I'm going to cut away... Um, these leafy areas. I just want to use them. And pop those bits out. And then I've got another one and I've done exactly the same again. Because um, I just want to use the um, the leafy bits that you get with this one. So this one's coming out a lot better. I've just ran it through um, twice. I think my cut tidy's um, had its day. Is it cut tired now? It's, it's, it's tired. done. It's done, it wants to go home, it wants to sit on the sofa, <laughs> it wants its blanket, and it wants a nap. That's what it wants, Sheila. Uh, just like me. Just like you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that is one of my favourite colours from the Maptastic range this it's year. It's so pretty, isn't it? I just love it. It's such a um, lovely green. Yeah, it's really nice green. So, can I just snip this off? Let's just snip this away. 
it's going to make life so much easier. So I'm just literally cutting off the leaf areas from this die. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to piece it onto our um, 7 by 5 that we created earlier on. Um, and this is just going to add a little bit of extra to our piece. So let's just cut this off because this is unnecessary. We don't need that bit. And this is part of the H, so we can snip that away. So there's one piece cut. Still got a bit in there. And then the next piece is all the way up here. So we'll just snip this off. could actually uh, watching you snip that out there now you could um, if you've not got a, any Christmas die sentiments this is something that you could um, use these for as well as it so yeah. you could even um, cut out the sentiments and put these in the middle of your card mm -hmm. you know if you if you don't do verses normally or you don't have inserts and things like that um, you know you could use these for that as well or you might want to uh, use something from another of our collections and use this uh, as a sentiment on there. So um, it's all about mixing and matching, I think, isn't it? And as we do lots of times with these, we um, cut them out four or five times, don't we, and glue them together so you then end up with like a chunkier... A, ch a chunkier yeah. sort of... Yeah, sentiment, piece. almost like it's been cut from grey board or chipboard or something like that. Um, so there's loads and loads of ways of using them and this is the beauty of, of dyes actually, they are very versatile and for sure. Um, you know, if you the more you look at it, the more you come up with things. Um, you know, like the, I'm just looking now at this one in front of me and the, the Magic of Christmas one that you just did with the houses on. There's nothing stopping you cutting the houses off there and doing it on a new home card, is no. there? Um, you know, colour you could colour them all in brown, um, and then or, or colour them all with like just the same colour doors or the same colour houses and then the new uh, home for the recipient could be, you could colour it in bright colours so we know which one it is. Um, That's a nice idea. Lots of lots of different ways and you can do all this because if you're crafting at home and you're doing it as a hobby, you've got time to sit at your desk. We have a um, lot, lot, lot less time than uh, you have. We, we work on the dies maybe for a day and then we move on to the next product. So. We never almost kind of reach our peak on that. No, we never get to our full product. potential, do we, of what we can no. and can't make with these. No, we're limited really. And then of course by the time we get home and we've we've got in, um, even if we we very often buy the dyes or the kits ourselves as well, think I'm gonna do my Christmas cards out of these. By the time we get home at night, we're just like uh, you know, you eat tea, you have time with your family and then it's bedtime and it's bedtime. back to work and then on with something else. So um, we, we don't get much chance to sit in our craft rooms these days, do we? Because we're just, uh, yeah. you know, we're busy and... Well, my craft room um, has been, well, it was not really a craft room, but I craft in the spare bedroom, which is now Dan's office. Oh, of course. It's my Dan's office. Yes. So even if I want to go in there, it's just... I just can't, can't no. find anything. He's no. moved stuff, so he's got space for things. I'm like, where have you put this? Oh, I don't know. And then that makes me really sad because I've lost stuff. <laughs> Okay. We've got someone watching from Germany. Oh, wow. Uh, That's a long Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag, Guten indeed. Morgen. Guten Morgen, yes. Yes, absolutely. From Stuttgart. Stuttgart. Yes, that's uh, Christina. So, hello, Christina from Stuttgart. Thank you for uh, joining us. Um, I've decided I'm just going to use two. So, I've cut them out of this fantastic green. And I'm just going to stick them to the corners. And then using that beautiful gold, um, which is just my favourite, it's so amazing and it cuts wonderfully, um, we're going to put the sentiment in with the gold. So this is just going to act as like a little sort of frame around the edges, but if you had more time, you could add as many of these little elements onto your card and really, you could create a wreath out of these actually, because they do Yes, oh, they are quite fantastic, bendy, aren't that they? Be? You can see there how you've got two, you've got a circle. So if you added another couple, you could make a wreath. Of course you could. Oh, that's yeah, going to be definitely. so exciting. Just a cluster, uh, you could put a, like a flower on top, like a big Christmas rose. Or if you bought our poignant kit, yes. 
this would be nice foliage to add with that uh, that die, wouldn't it? You know, the corner die with the poinsettias mm -hmm. on. Okay, um, so now um, I've just got a few bits that I need to poke out. Um, have a merry Christmas. We've got the S and then the A. Let's use my pokey tool. Um, Sarah Ann Bird has been in touch and she says she was lucky enough to be one of the Win It Weekly winners last Friday and <gasps> the ink pads are lovely colours. Well, uh, yes they are Sarah, you're not wrong. Um, and they give a totally different effect um, to our just regular ink pads. So, um, and this is how easy it is to just enter the Win It Weekly it's competition. So easy, isn't it? Which can we, um, can we recap with the question? Yeah. Um, there, please, Emily, just because someone had missed it. Um, what is Super Saver Man's main choice of footwear? Um, A, high heels, B, socks and sandals, C, trainers. <laughs> I, I've got a picture in my oh. head of him standing with his cape on and his mask in light shorts with socks and sandals. And I'm imagining that is really not a great superhero. Maybe that's his um, holiday look. Image, but who knows? I mean, yeah, he's um, he will be going on holiday soon. So um, I'm hoping he wouldn't wear socks and sandals together, but hey, each to his own. Um, he's a superhero. He can do whatever he likes, whenever true. he likes, wherever he likes. So Very true. Um, yeah, so that is the question. Mm -hmm. And um, you can be in with a chance of winning the Christmas in Acorn Wood collection, which Natalie launched on TV a few weeks ago. It's a fabulous kit. It's got concept cards in there as well. So it's a really, really um, lovely, lovely collection. And you will enjoy that. Um, so. Um, a fantastic thing to win as well. The whole so, kit. Natalie, we have um, someone asking, um, mm. Shan, saying, hello, how are you sticking the leaves um, as your picture frame is hiding it? Oh, sorry. There Here. we go. So I've just put some of our white craft glue onto um, a acrylic block um, and I'm just picking it up uh, with just putting the dye on top of it, picking it up and then sticking sticking them on to the sides. And then with my die, I've used our um, small strip foam pads and I've cut these down to fit um, my edges and we're gonna stick this on on top. And I just had a really cool thought as well, which I'm gonna add to the card because why not? Um, I'm going to add some pearl gemstones Ooh. in our, uh, I think we've got our Christmas pearls, haven't we? Yes. Um, which have got really nice red. So let's stick this in the middle. I think that's the middle. Oh, look how much that has now made the uh, die look bigger. Because it's a square die, isn't it? About five by five. Yeah. And you basically cut it and put it on a 7x5 card and made it almost look bigger than it actually is when it's cut in a square, which is really clever. And then I'm going to use my... Ooh. Oh, I should have used my scraper. There we go. I'm going to add so nice. some pearls from our red collection. I don't know whether I'm going to have enough, so I might have to mix and match, actually. So let's go for a mix of pearls. And I think we can do a mix of normal reds. Ooh, stuck to a nail. And then we'll add some of the pearls up here as well. So it's just another way, because you could colour these in, you could add glitter if you wanted to, which is another really nice way in which you can um, jazz these up, but just gives it that extra little bit of something having the pearls on there. So I've got a few of the red pearls and then I'm gonna go totally crazy mental and I'm gonna get my normal gems. Yep. I'm gonna add these on and mix them up because there's nothing that tells you you can't do that. You could have you wouldn't have you don't have to have red ones necessarily if you don't want red ones. We could do some um, gold ones. Use our gold beautiful. pieces. Natalie, just while you're sticking those gems on, um, we have a lady here 
Diane Andrews, who is um, saying, why can't I get you? It just says, not long now. Um, Emily, does she need to maybe refresh? I'd refresh the page. Refresh yeah. the page. And then you can um, just uh, drag your mouse along to the point where we're live. Okay, so if you drag your mouse along to the point where it says we are live um, and click on that, it should bring it up. Um, it might just have had a little glitch and, and stopped. And if you try refreshing it, uh, Diane, and, and see if that works. Um, that's another little, um, a little tip there. This happens with me sometimes as well and I have to show it for Emily. That's really, really lovely, Natalie. Um, I think I would have definitely added more branches. I think now I've got it in my head that I could make a wreath. I would have probably had another one on the top here and at the side and made a, a really nice wreath out it's, of that. It's really pretty, but again, like you're saying, you could um, make a wreath out of it by doing it circular because the, yeah. the foliage is actually quite a little yeah, bit rounded It's rounded, rounded isn't anyway, it? Isn't so you could definitely do that. I love that, though. Um, I love that the simplicity of that. Yeah, and de deconstruct your dies, guys. Yeah, definitely. There's so much you can do with them. Definitely. That's really beautiful. Um, thank you, Natalie. You're welcome. Um, we're gonna, we've got a few little cards here that have been made, um, again, by the team. Doing... Um, them in all different ways this was made by our lovely Rachel and I'll pull that down there um, and then you can see how lovely this is it's really really nice um, again using almost like pinks and, and brighter greens in this so again it keeps with that contemporary feel so then we've lovely. got the one that's made here again as we said you could make it like a, almost like a frame by using your foam tape your foam strips um, and using more than one layer again that's really Pretty, is that one of yours, Natalie? Yeah. I can always tell because Natalie doesn't put a name on, on the back. She just <laughs> makes them and then throws them in a pile and then goes on to the next thing. Again, this must be another of Natalie's because there's no name on it. Um, but again, look at that with the lovely um, gold glitter card in the middle there. Um, and cleverly layered up onto foam pads on top of the original white uh, die cut. So you've got a really nice gap in there, but again, it's just so lovely and gives that dimension. Then we've got another lovely one using um, completely uh, different different idea, but all done in glitter card. That's what I wanted to say, completely using glitter card. And we've got, um, again, just a clever way of making the shadow pop from behind. It's really, really lovely. And then our final one, using um, using it as a separate panel on kind of a diagonal. I love that. Card. So again, you can just use, you know, cut it and, and make it bigger and put it onto a bigger card. Um, so lots of different ideas there. We hope that we have given you some ideas and some inspiration um, of how to use these fabulous dies. Um, we've already just recapped on the competition question, um, which was what does our super saver hero wear on his feet? Does he wear A, high heels, B, socks and sandals, C, trainers? Um, if you want to enter the Win It Weekly competition, you just need to give us the answer, like, share and comment and you'll be in a, with a chance of winning one of our fabulous Acorn Wood Christmas collections, which was brought to you just two or three weeks ago on TV. It's a beautiful kit and it's perfect for making some lovely um, contemporary Christmas cards with. Um, what we're going to do now, we are just going to tell you, we've already, um, thankfully to Natalie, um, in with the Hunky Dory headlines, just um, letting you know about our TV schedule. We've got the channel numbers on the bottom there, uh, just in case you don't know what they are, you've not seen it before. Um, tomorrow at 10.30 and again at 6.45 in the evening, Pauline will be showing you our Let It Snow collection, which is lovely, isn't it? It is very pretty. It's, it's perfect, no matter what stage of crafting you're at, you are going to love it. Um, it's really, really pretty, it's really nice, um, and you, you'll just enjoy it and um, grab it if you can. We are going to add our Twas the Night topper deck to our product Ooh. rollover box, um, which again is filling up nicely, isn't it? It it's is. It's getting full it and is. full It's going to be full. good if someone wins that on, on Friday. Friday when we spin the wheel. Um, and also, our next Facebook Live show is here on Wednesday at 10 a.m. with myself and Dan. Um, we are going to be presenting the fabulous Trolley Dash show. And it looks like I will be doing the scoreboard box challenge. Um, so hopefully my fingers will work and I won't be distracted by um, I'm sure he'll find a Dan. way to distract you. I'm sure he will because 
now he's at the top, he's going to do anything possible to stay at the top. Yeah, he's not going to stay at the top, is he? No, because we're going to have words with Anne. We're going to, absolutely. <laughs> Watch out, Dan, because I am coming for you on Wednesday. Oh, um, <laughs> scary. <laughs> um, he, said, he said, is that all right, Shirley, You're in it for... on Wednesday? Have you got enough time to practice? So, mm. That's because he had two weeks of practice, I know. people. Yeah. Two weeks of practice he had. We don't need There's practice. We don't need practice. <laughs> so, um, thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, we've enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed it as well. Um, we will see you on Wednesday. And don't forget to check out our website for some fabulous deals. Um, there's all sorts on there. Go on to our hub, see our inspiration uh, tutorials. Just go on there. Thank you for joining us today from myself and from Natalie. Thank you very much. And we will be back here with you on Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.